Welcome to part three of coding for the Gary Kitchen's Game Maker on the Commodore 64. Well, today I got something special for you. We're gonna make a sprite move around using a joystick. Not only that, we're gonna make it if he walks into a wall, he'll get bumped off. How do you like that? <laughs> so you just keep watching, maybe you'll learn something, yep. Today we're gonna start off with a blank workspace. Also, I'm gonna start off with clearing scene one. Because every time you play it, it's gonna clear it. Scene one, oh, let's say it's color two, we're gonna make black. Now we're gonna print. Now we're gonna print color two on color two. Now we're gonna add a sprite. Sprite one is, hmm. Up, up, that way, down, up, 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 that's what you call it, up. Now we need to find our X position for our sprite. Hmm. I think I'm going to set it at 31. That sounds good. Now for the Y position. That's up and down. I'm feeling 181 should do the trick. Going to put that there for now. We'll use it later. Now I'm going to find where it says print. Now where it says print, we're going to put spaces all across. Let's look see what we got. I see my sprite. We're going to change this from black to white. What we see in the top, where it's white. Let's make it red. Those are my spaces. Now I'm going to add a couple blank print lines here. I'll show you what they're for in a little bit. See all those prints with those lines under them? Those lines means there's nothing printed there. It's empty space. At the beginning and the end of every line, I'm going to press the space bar, which will put a little square on each side. And if you look closely, I'm making a pattern, a picture of some sort. You'll see. If this seems like it's getting too tedious, you can copy and paste. Yep. Let's see what we got so far. You see where the spaces are? It looks like red walls. Now to finish my red walls, I'll fast forward it a little bit. Yep. Well, almost done. One more layer to go. Now here's our board. It's like a little room thing. Now let me show you how to make this guy move around the place. Walk upstairs, all that stuff. I'm gonna find this thousand one and move it down a little bit. Yep. Then I'm gonna add if joystick one is up. Oh, what should I have happen here? Well, I think we're gonna animate uh, at the speed of uh, 21, yeah. We're also going to need a direction. Zero degrees up. That sounds good. You need movement speed too. Yeah, yeah, moving's good. You can't move without moving. I think we'll go 25 on that one. Now we're going to add the and if command. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. Because I'm going to do copying. 
It's so much easier to copy little sections at a time and then just changing them. Now if joystick one is up, down. Okay, well, let's change the direction to down. Going to copy some more. Change the joystick to left. Well, I suppose it better change the direction to left, too. Yep. I think I'm going to copy again, because I don't want to have to type this all over again. Change this to right. Move it down. And change the direction to right. And of course, we're going to copy again. Copy makes it easy. Let's put it right there. We're going to change this from right to off to show what's going to happen when the joystick's off. Well, I suppose if the joystick's off, I should make the animation zero. That's off. Moving speed should be zero, too. And I'm going to copy again. Go down to copy, and I'll put it right there. Now I'm going to change this line here. It's right one up. Hit Sprite, or well, we're going to change this to hit color 2 and 3. If it hits the color 2 or 3, then what's going to happen? Hmm. We're going to delete the animation speed and the direction. Now I'm going to replace the movement speed line to a line that says Sprite 1 X position. And let's change the X position to 95. That sounds good. Oh, I need a Y position too. Got to have a Y position. I'll set that at 137. That sounds good. Now we add the line, jump to label 1001. That will create our loop. Oh, it didn't work. I forgot to do something. I gotta move that 1001 down one. There, because it was printing all along the, the whole thing. All right, let's start this. Left, right, up's not working. Down's not working. Why? Well, let's have a look. Let's debug our program. Oh, I see it right here. This end if is in the wrong spot. Copy. Well, copy it from here. And put it there. Not to delete the old one. Now to run. Oh, boy. My Charles guy's walking now. But you can't tell which direction he's facing. We need to change the sprites. So let's do this. Let's insert a sprite. Up one. Insert. And when the joystick's down, there'll be a different sprite called down one. Oops, get out of here. Insert. Insert. Right 11. Oops, I put right 11 up here. I gotta change it to left. There, left 11. Up. Oh, now he can go right. He can go left. He can go down. But when he hits the wall, uh, uh, he gets pushed back. Ah, ah, can't get out of the wall. Uh. If I go up here, I get pushed back to the beginning. Ah, oh, man, I can't get out of this room. 
Okay, I have to fix something that's bugging me. Let's go to the top. Let's insert. Scene one, background. We'll make it white. Now let's run. Better. How about There we go. That's the Charles I know you're looking down at him. Let's walk into this wall. Uh 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 huh. I can't get out of here. And there you have it. Stay tuned for the next time I teach you how to do something. Yep. Thanks for watching. You know, if I went too fast for you, I put the code right next to me. You look at that code and you pause the video. And then you might take your fingers and go like this. Make it a little bigger. And then you can look at everything on there and see if you messed up on anything. Until then, until next video, I'm just gonna be playing away. Gonna beat him, gonna beat him, gonna beat him! Whoa! <laughs>